वेलकम टू द स्पीकिंग सेक्शन ऑफ आई एल्स एग्जामिनेशन माई नेम इज सपना धमेजा एंड आई वुड बी योर एग्जामिनर फॉर दिस पार्ट ऑफ द टेस्ट एंड दिस टेस्ट वुड बी रिकॉर्डेड मे आई नो योर फुल नेम प्लीज येस माई फुल नेम इज जसप्रीत कौर हाउ मे आई एड्रेस यू यू कैन कॉल मी बाई माई फर्स्ट नेम जसप्रीत ओके दैट्स ग्रेट जसप्रीत वेयर डू यू लिव आई हेल फ्रॉम स्मॉल विलेज नोन एज मासिंग वाला विच कम्स अंडर द स्टेट ऑफ पंजाब Moreover, it is approximately ten kilometer away from this destination. Okay, are you student or working? Honestly speaking, I am a scholar. Recently, I have passed my senior second examination with flying colors. Now, I am pursuing my bachelor of science. Okay, that's great. Now, few questions will be based on high school. Are you still in contact with your friends from high school? Definitely, I am still in contact with some of my friends from high school. as we sometimes chat online share updates and uh, and meet up whenever we have free time uh, even it's nice to stay connected with them and also catch up on what's happening in each other's lives oh that's great what is your high school like frankly speaking my high school was a typical school with a classroom a library and the teachers were very cooperative there it was a very busy place with students from different grades Okay what happened on the first day of high school uh honestly speaking on the very first day of high school i was quite nervous because everything was new for me and uh, uh, i did, even i did not know anyone there so i was feeling quite nervous there okay hey guys before proceeding further to this interview here i would like to announce at your ielts partner platform we are offering ielts online classes be it is speaking writing or reading class If you guys wish to enroll, then you can book our free demo classes. The number is displayed below. You can contact us or WhatsApp us, and later on you can enroll in our courses. Thank you so much. Okay, Jaspreet, what subjects did you study in secondary school? Uh, well, I when I was in my high school, I studied wide range of subjects. So these core subjects were math, science, and English. Even I also studied history as well as geography, and uh, some elective courses were also there. like as art as well as physical education oh that's great now few questions will be based on mobile phone how often do you use your mobile phone just breathe without a second thought i use my mobile phone quite often like several times a day i use it to check messages uh, browse the internet and share updates uh, to my friends and even i also use it uh, uh, for doing so many tasks like checking the news listening to music and you using some applications for work as well as study okay can you describe your phone definitely uh, i have a smartphone with a sleek modern design it has a large touch screen which makes it quite easier to see videos as well as, well as uh, to um, watch uh, some entertainment uh, videos even uh, it has uh, in, even it has a good battery backup and i use it for various purposes like playing uh, indoor games there Mhm. Okay, what was your first mobile phone? Uh, frankly speaking my first mobile phone was Samsung J7. It was given by my parents on my uh, 15th natal day. Mhm. How is how has your mobile phone changed your life? Uh, uh it has changed my life uh, in several ways as it helps me to stay connected with my friends as well as family. No matter where they are, I can also access information checking the news and listening to a uh, music when i'm uh, free at my home okay now few questions will be based on pop star who is your favorite pop star well my favorite pop star is amrinder gill i love his music because uh, he has a uh, strong positive vibe and uh, meaningful lyrics his unique style and uh, his voice makes his song really enjoyable moreover uh, uh, i really appreciate how he uh, perform punjabi music on a global stage mm -hmm. Okay do you want to be a pop star no not at all i do not want to be a pop star because uh, there is a lot of pressure and can be stressful for me so i do not want to be highlight all the time in the news mm -hmm. do you like to go to concerts yes i really like to go to concerts even it's uh, amazing to see the live performance of my favorite artist uh, and uh, feel the uh, energy of the crowd and the atmosphere is quite exciting even it's a great way to enjoy the music with our family as well as friends 
Okay, so the last question in part one. Do you prefer live music or recorded music? Well, my first priority is the live music because uh, there is something special about the uh, energy and there is also a, a atmosphere of live performance that we cannot get from the recorded music. Um, however, I also like recorded music whenever I'm traveling or whenever I'm at home because it's quite convenient to listen to our favorite songs anytime. That's great. Very wonderful. And uh, this is end of the part one. And now I'm giving you cue card. And uh, you will have to speak between one and two minutes. And I'm giving you paper and pencil also, paper and pen. If you wish to make notes, then you can. Okay, Jaspreet, you may start speaking now. Okay. Well, park is a top-notch place where one can spend their quality time with their loved ones mm -hmm. and uh, also get relaxation. No doubt there are so many parks in my area, but today I would like to talk about a public park that I really like. It is none other than Riverside Park. Um, if I talk about the whole scenario in detail, it is located in the downtown of my area. It's a spacious park with a, a lot of greenery. Uh, and there are uh, walking trails and a small lake which enhance the beauty of this park. Moreover, I visit it at least once a week, uh, especially on weekends whenever I have uh, more free time. I usually go there with one of my close friends. In the park, I do so many activities. First one is that yoga. And sometimes I also uh, enjoy jogging on the trails. And sometimes I also enjoy the uh, uh, fresh, air, the, uh, fresh air there. And moreover, there are so many fitness stations where one can do a lot of exercise in order to stay healthy and healthy. Mm -hmm. And this park is very beautiful, filled with colorful flowers, uh, fountains and swings. Even there are also so many benches where I like uh, sitting and uh, admiring the scenery. Uh, furthermore, this park often hosts uh, so many community events like uh, outdoor movie nights and farmer uh, markets uh, that make the park more enjoyable. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the question how I feel about it, I really f uh, feel peaceful and calm there uh, and as well as also feel glad at that park because it's a great uh, great place to escape the busy city life and also indulge me in the lap of nature. Mm -hmm. uh, moreover, um, being surrounded by trees, flowers, birds and, uh, really, uh, and fresh air also makes me uh, recharge and feel connected to the nature. And in other words, I can say, uh, say that it, it creates a sense of community there. Uh, last but not least, I would say uh, it's a lovely sport that brings a smile on my face and provides relaxation and also create a sense of belonging. That's great. Wonderful. This is end of the cue card, Jaspreet. So now this is end of the part two, Jaspreet, and I'm going to ask some follow-up questions and these questions will be based on the cue card. How can we encourage young people to go to parks more often? Uh, frankly speaking, to encourage young people to visit uh, parks more often, first of all, we can organize fun events like as sports tournament and outdoor movie nights so that they can uh, encourage more and more in order to visit parks and promoting these activities on social media it will also helpful for them to visit to attract more and more second one is that uh, by uh, per, uh, by increasing facilities with modern equipments will also attract them as well and third one is that by making parks more engaging and accessible mm -hmm. which will also inspire them to visit more okay what tourist attractions are popular in india well, India is a diverse country and there are countless sports uh, that, are, uh, that are quite uh, famous in my uh, nation, India. The first one is Taj Mahal that is located in Agra and it is famous for stunning architecture. The mm. second one is Jaipur that is quite uh, uh, well renowned in the uh, young ones as well as older people because it is famous for palaces and forts. The third one is Goa that is quite uh, well liked. Uh, and uh, it is uh, famous for beaches as well as nightlife. And third, uh, last one is the Golden Temple that is located in Amritsar. And it is known for its sacred site. These mm -hmm. sites highlight the India's rich culture as well as natural beauty too. Okay. Why do people like to visit tourist attractions? Well, people like to visit tourist attractions because of several reasons. The first and foremost is that 
they want to explore new things and also learn about the history which which will make them to understand the different ways of life mm-hmm. second one is that tourist sports offer a wide range of chances to explore new activities to try new activity like uh, adventures as well as uh, other activities like uh, sightseeing uh, bungee jumping and so on the third one is that some people are busy in their day to day life so in order to get break from their mundane routine they can uh, visit there and also spend their quality time with their near and dear ones okay is it necessary to have public parks in cities definitely it's quite uh, mandatory for the uh, individual to have parks in the cities because it offers green spaces as well as also make the air more cleaner as mm-hmm. well as offer so many activities uh, which we can't do at home okay stop it just for this is end of the part 3 thank you so much Hey everyone now this is time to give the feedback for Jaspreet's interview today i am giving 7.5 band score to her i would like to talk about the four criteria and four parameters that how she has worked upon throughout her speaking on the four parameters first of all in the part 1 the very first thing that uh, she was quite confident and spoke at a length to every answer it is important that speak between 20 and 30 seconds or at least 3 to 4 sentences generally candidates ask me through my online classes or they message me on uh, whatsapp or they just ask me in the comment section on youtube or instagram that uh, what about the length in the part 1 so this is the right length as she has used over here that she covered 3 to 4 sentences for every answer and above all she has taken care of the four criteria b it was fluency and coherence it was lexical resource where she was using lot of different words g r a grammatical range and accuracy and the pronunciation was it was great so the important thing is that in the q card how she has uh, done four parameters she has taken care in the entire speaking b it was the part 1 it was q card or the follow up so in the part 2 very different word she used over here um, like spacious walking trails and uh, she used a word indulgence and some other word she has used above all she used idiomatic sentences as well i mean that she has taken care of this part that idiomatic sentences and phrases so most of the time candidates who are preparing for ielts they ask me that it is important to use idiomatic language so yes if you can then uh, this will really give uplift to your score so she used some idiomatic language here uh, the some phrases like top notch hail and hearty without a second thought so i am really inspired from this moreover <coughs> she used connectors so this is really important part when uh, we talk about the fluency and coherence part this is important i try to use variety of linkers to give the variation in your speaking and she used furthermore moreover in addition to it as well as last but not the least and she used some sign post also here i would like to talk one uh, she was uh, saying here when it comes to a question how i feel so she was an, uh, able to manage question by question and she was giving answer of every question though this is not important to give the answer in the sequence you need to cover all the questions in the sequence but this is important to cover all the questions or the bullet points using linkers and the sign posts avoid fillers avoid pauses and she did so she avoided fillers she avoided pauses instead she used some linkers connectors and she used good sign posts so this is uh, this is the great part of her speaking and uh, as i mentioned that she has worked upon the criteria very well she has taken care of different sentences which comes under gra part grammatical range and accuracy so it uh, made her speaking very well and the pronunciation was also good coming to the last part again she had taken care of the length it is important to speak between 30 and 40 seconds or 4 to 5 sentences so she did great over here she spoke between 4 to 5 sentences and she used some examples also and the best part of the follow up is that she did that thing whatever is required in this test what examiner actually expect in the final examination 
when i was asking some question then she was maintaining a sequence like firstly secondly thirdly last but not least so most of the candidates they do not do this thing so whenever in the follow up uh, part examiner ask any question then try to give the reasons but try to make a sequence also like first of all and then secondly and thirdly so there are so many points and i would like to discuss few of them there is a big difference and i would like to discuss how it is different and she managed that sequence also and in every question she has taken care of this part and she had given the best examples so in the part 3 this is not advisable to go personal examples and she used some general example that is why uh, this was a great test and i'm giving 7.5 thank you so much